everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and we just got back from getting our Christmas tree, which is gonna go here, so I need to move that marble table. Um, my husband is getting the saw and stuff to put it into the stand. So we've gone to Lowe's for the past couple years because it was close and we didn't know where any tree like places were. And uh, we found a local church to buy from this year and it only wound up being $45. And I think at Lowe's we were paying 70 or 75. So the people were so friendly and they said, thanks for supporting us. It's also beautiful weather outside, probably 65. You could be out with shorts and a t-shirt, especially if you were moving around. So there won't be any fire by the Christmas tree tonight, but I am gonna make some tea. I love uh, um, whatever the holiday blend is that uh, was it Republic of Tea puts out every year. They always say like limited edition, but it's always the same. And I've got my favorite Emma Bridgewater mug. Tree is up. I thought it would be nice for the kids to have a treat as we decorate the tree. And uh, my mom is coming over also. So I'm just defrosting some chocolate chip cookies and the tandy cakes. And it's nice to be able to go into the freezer and pull a few out when you want them. And yeah. yeah. That's what I love seeing in the mirrors is the sparkle and reflection of the lights. So far in here, we've got a nativity scene set up. My daughter helped with that. We've got stockings and a garland that lights up. Um, no other decorations. Sometimes I put silver candlesticks. I think this year I'd like to do something that adds sparkle. Um, so some like mercury glass candle holders. I don't have any though, so I'll have to keep my eyes peeped. And right before I head upstairs, I did want to get one you know a few little sections finished so i feel productive and it just doesn't look like the whole house exploded with decorations that haven't been put out yet uh so some of these things i think that i'm gonna save and bring out at easter but i do have this cloche as the angel um i actually should put a baby jesus in there uh bible it's got some wax flowers and some sheep i have this little box here uh, maybe I'll just add a sheep to this rosary that's got red in it. Um, maybe I'll just add that there. It's got some green stones in it. But a couple of these, and like this sheep, I'll just add at Easter. And I've got this New Testament with these little... Um, so, I mean, some of these are uh, like honoring people when they passed away and others I think are just images and Bible verses. I guess you could use them as bookmarks in your Bible. And most of them, that's how I found them was tucked in. Um, some were some gifts though. So I'll put that image there on top. I've got a lot of crosses and crucifixes in there and I have to figure out how I want to display them. Um, I was thinking about like maybe a little stuffed pillow in the shape of a heart and I could attach them. But this little box can now go away. And then these are pillow covers that I don't know if I have pillows that will fit them anymore. I do like them, um, but I just have to see if it's the look that I'm going for and they've been washed a few times but they don't look like so great there not awful I mean I wouldn't mind putting them out but it wouldn't be hard for me to to let them go and then I liked this tin because of the red and the gold not that it's a pill box but I thought that that uh, had a nice old weathered tarnished feeling so that might stay there or it might go somewhere else but at least i don't have pillowcases on top of a vase and an old department store box out there anymore i'm sure that this will change but when i look over here i don't feel like it's a a project anymore i should really look back and see what i did in different areas last year i kept up the chalkboard from thanksgiving and layered this new chalkboard in front of it 
I pulled out my glass bowl that I have like my bird's nest and mercury beads. I think that still needs something else though because it's not cut, it's not very full. And then I pulled out these boots and I had candy canes in them. I actually pulled it out to uh, take a still life photo for school. And instead of sticking it back in the cabinet, I just put it here and I actually really like it. I don't know if I wanna lay some lace underneath or just keep it how it is. I'm really thinking that this year is going to be more simple than I've done before. And I'm gonna lean towards Victorian things that feel shabby or things that appear newer like these like clean white boots and PVC candy canes and like graphic pictures. I don't know, that's what I'm saying right now. I'd also like a lot of sparkle with the glass. I just don't have much at the moment and I don't wanna spend a ton. So hopefully next weekend if I feel good and nothing's going on at church or work or school, maybe I can get thrifting and see what I can find. I'd say it's beginning to look like Christmas in here. The main decorating task of the day was to get the ornaments on the tree. And we had Christmas vacation on in the background. And we've got some of my daughter's favorite old world Christmas ornaments. And my husband's. He loves his Hallmark ones. The kids love the ones that make sound. The nice thing is that uh, the tree is the most time consuming part and the rest of the stuff after work, I can pull out a box or two and put up and enjoy doing it with the kids and we can take our time. These items are some of my older items, um, cups dating from the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, actually these, 1896 and this red one that says Christmas 1904. It's got um, some of the darker ruby red colors and I really like these boxes stacked up with the books and then the um, glass spilling on top just how I stored it in here but I know that I have things in those boxes so I'm going to take a picture of that little stack so then I can put it back together the same way but I can still open up the um the boxes and pull the decorations out. And I know there's some things in here that I haven't decorated with, like as I thrifted them this year, I added to the, um, the storage. Not too many things. I mean, I think, I think a new receipt spike, that brooch, um, maybe, maybe those fruits there. All right, let's pull it out. Okay, my partner in crime is distracted now. <laughs> it's cute. Looks like a gingerbread house. And there's like a waffle maker on the inside. Oh yes, I think I shared it last year. Everything is pulled out except for my sculptures. I will put those out later. And these are the individual things and the boxes. I wasn't going to film opening up the boxes and discovering what was in there since I did that last year. But then I thought maybe you would like to see it. I really do enjoy um, Vlogmas and Vlogtober and seeing, you know, a day into someone's or a peek into someone's daily life and starting to see some of their routines, things that they do over and over again. It's very comforting. Um, and I think that's the reason why a lot of people like to watch daily vlogs. They see the same people over again and see them making similar dinners and it just is very comforting and peaceful. So I thought I will do that. Maybe that'll be a little tradition. It might not be every box, but um, you know, see if I packed it differently or what's new or what's different, or what's missing, who knows. And then that got me thinking about um, people who are no longer making YouTube videos that I miss. I've been making videos for over nine and a half years now. And there have been many people that have come and gone and uh, I really miss them. Some people who have been gone for a very long time, uh, sometimes they come back for a little bit and then they disappear again. And I don't know if you're there and if you're hearing this and watching, but you know, not commenting or not making videos anymore, but um, I miss you. <laughs> so um, next video I have, I'll be opening up some of these boxes, but hope you liked me seeing me put around the house, um, just pull some things out, even though I'm not feeling 100% 
it's still got to be done. And I enjoy it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.